Hello, very nice to be with you. And our venue for this one is the Ataturk Olympiad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Bayer Leverkusen up against Ajax. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. The lineup for Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Edmond Tapsoba plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Here's the starting lineup for Ajax. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And this confrontation is underway. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Out of play for what will be an Ajax throw. Steven Bergwijn. Owen Weindahl. Ajax pushing forward with options available. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And that's going to be an Ajax throw-in. Steven Bergwijn. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And out of play for a Leverkusen throw-in. Palacios. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. Excellent defending. Ta. Andri. Florian Wirtz. And he's won the ball. Lassen. Tadic able to get a body in the way. Frimpong. And the pass not finding its target. And the emphasis is on creativity. Tadic. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Yeah. 
Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Moussa Diaby Palacios well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Sanchez oh, pressing really high Dusan Tadic he continues his run his body on the line couldn't keep the ball Tadic oh that's a pass of high quality and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately And inching towards the half-time interval, Ajax with the advantage. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. Excellent refereeing. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Wonderfully weighted pass. And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Andri. Jeremy Frimpong. Palacios on the ball. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, that's exactly what his team needed, because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45?
And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Piero in Capier. Is it going to end up being productive for them? And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Poor attempt at a pass, really. That will be a Bayer Leverkusen throw. Andri Wirtz Excellent defending Doesn't have to do it on his own But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end And they have possession again Oh, managing to beat him. Wonderful chance. Really good diving save. So the corner played into the box. Simple save, really. And foul it is then. Florian Wirtz being egged on by the crowd oh he couldn't outwit the keeper well really making the goalkeeper's life simple that should be hit in the back of the net that was a big big chance now well, the pass not finding its target oh that's an interesting pass not testing the keeper at all with that effort well the stats tell us everything they just aren't doing enough going forward i don't think he'll be proud of that challenge and it's left to the referee to decide what happens next well he's going to be taking no further part in this match well it's not a clever challenge is it we're going to have to dig in now Florian Grilic. Tadic. Twenty minutes to go. And support available. That'll be a Leverkusen ball. Now they are committed to making the substitution here. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Who can he pick out? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned. And his day is done. Second yellow card, Stuart. Well, I have to say, it was coming. Why was he not taken off earlier? A 
Quarter of an hour remaining here. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Tadic applying vigorous pressure and no way through. One block after another and quite simply wide of the target. Time for a change then. And a short corner, let's see. That's a go. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Here it is now, a substitution. Over it comes. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Went in strongly, decisively. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Moussa Diaby. Demir Bay has it. And that's an important intervention. Time on the scoreline against Bayer Leverkusen. What can they pull out of the fire? Diaby. Into the advanced position. Well, four marks to him for giving it a try from that tight angle. Well, he took everybody by surprise there. That was a really decent attempt. the final whistle not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today defeat for them well i thought it was a really intense game lots of quality lots of good individual displays in the end though they won't be happy with the defeat nor the manner of it conceding so late on and a big part of the story a high level contribution from steven bergwijn stewart sum up for us what impressed you most of all well he was excellent today and he gave them that all-important lead they just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.